Well, hi to YouTube family. It is Bolt CRNA coming to you again with another day's topic. So today is a little bit of something different. I've seen a lot of YouTubers on here doing videos about what's in their nursing bag or what's in their work bag. So today I have for you the unveiling of what I carry with me to work in my bag. Let's get into it. Now over the years, my bag has transitioned. From when I was in school, I had a backpack. Then for a while I carried kind of a briefcase leather looking thing when I was a new CRNA because I was being super professional and I wanted it to look really good. And then it started to transition into like, what's functional? And what can I stuff a bunch of junk into? What can I put all the things that I may randomly need at the hospital, especially if I'm on call or something comes up or I have to stay late, uh, you know, the unpredictable nature of anesthesia schedule. I thought I need something that actually contains all those things. And then especially when um, the pandemic hit last year, I ended up realizing I needed to hold on to a lot of different N95 masks, face shields, a lot of different PPE that we were supposed to keep and hold on to and reuse over and over. So luckily this was actually given to me by one of my employers, they handed this to us. Uh, so I've been able to use this one throughout the last year or so. And it's got a lot of junk in there and I'm actually not 100% sure what's in here. So I'm kind of nervous because some things, you know, linger in here for a long time. But let me get started. First thing is this really old dosing calculator card from my clinical rotations in pediatric anesthesia. Look at that. That's old dosages, which I still keep in case I have a pediatric case. I have, a, I have an app on my phone that I can reference that has drug calculations and things for uh, pediatric anesthesia, but this is nice to have too. Now this is an entire Ziploc bag of PPE. It's got some of my, you know, scrub hats. This is one of my favorite ones from CRNA Locum's company. They sent me this but pretty much like a bunch of old N95s, a bunch of old, uh, you know, scrub caps and things like that. Sometimes I'll use these for my TikTok videos. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go over there and follow me on TikTok. It's Bolt CRNA over there. Do like skits and funny little things with old PPE that I didn't throw in the trash at the end of the day. Oh yeah, and a face shield, of course. This one's old and beaten up. And we currently are not wearing face shields most of the time at work anymore. It's not part of our workflow unless someone's a known COVID patient, but uh, I still have this old one just in case, in case I have to grab it. Let me stop real quick and tell you to smash that like button, guys. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it. Back to the content. Then I have my wallet. Always important to have your wallet when you're at work, when you gotta go to the cafeteria and buy you some good food. Ah, some Tylenol. In case you start getting that headache at work or migraine, you need something for that. This is awesome. Obviously you can see here, Scout got mad at me one day, got into my bag and tried to chew this thing up. But luckily it's child safety, so. Of course the stethoscope and the stethoscope belt clip holder here. Always need this every day. Ah, my pens. You always have to have a good pen. In the medical field, in nursing, you need pens to write, to chart, write on meds and stuff. These are my favorite right here. Let's see if they zoom in. This is a new lens, guys, by the way. I just paid, I think, $400 for this lens because I dropped my old lens and it broke. And so I had to get a new one. But uh, I went ahead and upgraded to a nicer one here. So let me know in the comments below, do you like this view? Does it look better to you or does it look the same as all the other ones did? So besides pens, I also have my shears, my trauma shears here. And some old alcohol pads that I usually keep in my pocket just in case. And what else is in here? My little hemostats that I've had since uh, CRNA school that was given to me. I used to use these to help try and practice suturing at home. They gave us some old sutures and stuff and told us to practice at home on a banana in case we need to suture in like a central line or something. And uh, I almost never do that. So, ah, a fresh N95 mask. This one is in case I need an actual, it's like fresh one, if it's a true COVID patient or I'm really concerned that I want it to be like definitely working. I have a good fresh N95 unopened here that I can use in a pinch. Of course, my beeper. This beeper here, this is my call beeper. 
It can go off technically at any time. They could try and beat me here at home. I'm not so much worried about it if they beat me at home because I'm not on call. But when I'm in the hospital, I keep this thing on me. If my cell phone's not working for some reason, they can always beat me on this thing. Always gotta keep this thing with you. This is actually a medical device, a CRNA who trained me uh, implement. He like created this himself and did a 3D printer and printed it. It's actually a holder for, uh, for arterial lines. It's called the Boltonator. See if you can see that. Look at that. The Boltonator. He named it after me actually and, uh, and he sent it to me. So uh, shout out to Troy in uh, Memphis, uh, Tennessee. Uh, he's a really cool cardiac CRNA there who does a lot of cabbages and open hearts and valves and stuff. And he created this, named it after me, and even sent me one. So, shout out to Troy. If you're wanting one of these devices for your own use, let me know. I'll get you in touch with him. Ah, a dosimeter. This sucker right here, a lot of people use these to test the x-ray. It's This is essentially giving you information on how much exposure you're having to x-rays and radiation and stuff. Anyone who's gonna be working in departments like we work in that have a lot of x-ray being shot, C-arms being used when we do anesthesia for interventional radiology cases or if we're in the EP lab or cath lab where they're just shooting radiation all the time, it's kind of important to have one of these around so you get an idea of how much radiation you're getting exposed to in a day. So far, so good. An old badge, which I won't show you because it has my old employer on there. Gum. This is so important. Coffee breath in the morning, guys. No bueno. You need gum with you. This will freshen you up. Eye drops. These eye drops, this is my brand that I always use. Uh, an ophthalmologist I work with really recommended these. And uh, these actually work very well, especially when you're on call at night. You're up for 12, 16, 24 hours. You're tired. You're getting phone calls all the night. My eyes get especially bloodshot and red. So these help me out. Uh, so these, lifesaver when you're at the hospital long periods of time. I just recently used up all my floss, but this is the only thing I have still left dental care wise, where if I'm at work and you need just a little bit of that toothpick out of your mouth, I actually have permanent retainers on the tops and the bottoms of my mouth, uh, the, the metal guard behind your teeth there. And so sometimes like uh, fruits and certain nuts and berries and stuff will get stuck in the back of your teeth there. And the only way to get them out is this right here. So it'll drive me absolutely insane if I don't have this and get this out. An iPhone charging cord. This is a lifesaver when you're at work and your phone's battery is dying and you've got no way to charge. You need one of these cords. Usually someone at work is gonna have one, but occasionally you'll run into a situation where you're the only one who's got one and you'll be the lifesaver for someone else. An extra one of these suckers. You can never have enough of these. It'll break on you at the middle of, in the middle of your shift at work. And if you don't have another one, I mean, you're like literally picking your badge off of your shirt and then putting it up to the door to badge in and out of places all day. This, you need this. And last but not least, Snacks. I actually have more snacks at work. Uh, I have some in my locker and I have a desk at work too that I have a bunch of, actually like a whole spread of snacks there. But this is still kind of like backup emergency rations. Like, uh, what is this, a peach cereal bar. I've got some Starburst from probably two years ago. Some Trader Joe's chocolate bar. I don't even know where this came from. I don't think I've ever even bought this, but. Uh, Sour Patch Kids. I mean, the classics, you need all this. Some, some little um, melon candies from the Asian store that I got. All good stuff. Now I gotta put all this stuff back in here. Well, all right guys, that's what's in my clinical bag. But I wanna hear about you guys. What do you have in yours? What am I missing? What OG stuff do I need that I don't have? Comment down below the cool thing in your bag that you think nobody else has got. And for those of you guys who are interested in getting into CRNA school, don't forget the memberships here on the channel. Join up, subscribe. I offer study guides for you guys over there. I offer monthly videos behind the scenes. We have live chats every month with just us members where you can talk to me about whatever you wanna talk about and we get into topics of of really whatever and uh, trying to answer candidly for you guys. It also gives you access to me directly for resume reviews. We even have mock interviews that I offer over there for those of you guys who are getting ready to actually interview. And I do other types of interviews too. So if you're looking for someone to kind of simulate what your first ICU job interview may be like. And speaking of the memberships, if you're a part of the Ketamine Kings Club, which is the top level 
once a month, I shout you guys out in one of my videos. So let's do that really quick because I want to say thank you so much to Talia RL, Geet Athwal, Seven George, Cynthia Almonte, Zara Rashid, Spider Taco, Ty Sweeney, Matthew Welters, Anonymous, uh, Ravneet Kaur, Cameron Neal, Evan Wooten, Andrew Rockenhouse, Charlene Costantino, Bryn Canetta, and Christina Rossi. You guys are the GOAT. I really appreciate you supporting me on the channel and I really, it enables me to, you know, buy equipment like this lens and do other stuff that keeps up with this channel and updating you guys, so I really appreciate it. And I offer a bunch of other services over there too. So, make sure, head over there if you're looking for any of that stuff. Make sure and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And, until next time, that's Bolt Out.